What's going on everyone? So in the last few videos we've talked about monsters, we talked about maps and how to make player characters, but now what's the next step? Well, we're actually gonna talk about music in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. That's right. We're gonna actually increase and up the ante on kind of the immersion that you get in your games and actually bring in battle music and bring in different other playlists in here. So that way you can actually have a great experience here on Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Now, the thing is with this is that not only can you bring in playlists and bring in battle music and stuff like that, but you can actually assign the specific playlist to different maps, which is actually really cool. So if you want to have like a really creepy kind of dungeon crawly type ambiance music when you load your maps in, you can do that here in the software. And we'll actually go over that today. So if you have any questions as we're going through that, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section, but also come down to the live stream. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Link for that Twitch stream down in that description below. There we're talking Dungeons and Dragons, virtual tabletops, Anything related to tabletop role-playing, dungeon mastering, game mastering, how to be a player character, I'm there as a resource for you guys to answer your questions that, and I can then tailor those answers to your specific needs in your games, which is the most important thing for me because I want to make sure this community continues to grow and they continue to you know have fun playing these awesome games. If you end up liking this video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that way you know when other tutorials come out on Foundry Virtual Tabletop and other different topics related to tabletop role-playing in general. Now, without further ado, let's actually jump into Foundry and actually let's check out that music. All right, guys, so now that we're over here at the computer, let's actually jump into Foundry and add some music to our games. All right, so now that we're over here, you can actually see that I've got some tracks already put in here on my playlist. If we ever need to create a new playlist, we can just hit Create Playlist. We'll just call this one name. We can decide to shuffle the tracks if we want, um, but I'm just gonna create this playlist and as you can see, it's there. And then we can add tracks to it by clicking the little plus button. But I'm gonna get rid of this one because I already have some playlists already here. Now, as you can see, I've got this one for battle and it's got the song Urban Gauntlet, which actually comes from Kevin McLeod. And I'll leave links for all the songs by Kevin McLeod and Incompetech down in the description below. Uh, but if I play this sound, it's going to play the actual playlist, and you can hear that right now um, as it's kind of going. But I'm going to stop it here so it doesn't get all muddled with my audio. Now, if we want to add songs, so let's say I want to add a song to my Saul's Vault map specifically. I create a playlist called Saul's Vault, which is what this is. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to name a track. I'm going to call it Creepy because that's what I want for this particular one. We can choose to repeat it, which in this case I will because I actually want this one particular song to repeat and I'm gonna upload a song. Now, normally what you will end up having is you'll come to this particular uh, page here and you're gonna actually need to choose where you wanna nest the song. If you just upload the file, it's just gonna nest it here and you're just gonna have a big long list. So I'm gonna actually nest it in my test world and I'm gonna nest it in scenes and music. And I actually think I might even create another folder here and we're gonna call this one Saul's Vault just so that way I have it here. We're going to nest in here and we're going to choose a file. Now I'm going to go in the background and do all that so you guys don't have to see this. So I'll be right back. All right. So I have chosen my file. Actually, it's the song Anxiety by Kevin McLeod. So I'll probably change the track name here to Anxiety just so that way it's uh, correct. But um, and we have that uploaded. We have it selected. So we'll select the file. It puts the audio source in there. I'm going to call this Anxiety just so that way I know it's right. And we're going to update the track. Now, if we want to add this as the ambiance for whenever the actual uh, map comes up and we want this to play every time, what we're going to do is we're actually going to come back here into scene controls. We're going to click on scene because that's where I am right now. And we're going to pick an audio playlist. Now I'm going to pick in this case, Saul's Vault, and then I'm going to save it. And now it should be playing in the background, which it is. Um, and it'll play in the background whenever you load up this scene, but we don't want this music playing right now. So we're just going to stop this playlist. So it stops playing. Now, if we want to add something to battle ambiance, so like I have my battle scene here, my, excuse me, my battle playlist here, and I want to add another one. So let's go in and add another one. Let's pick a path. And again, I'll go in here and do this and I'll see you at the end of that. So I've chosen the Descent by Kevin McLeod as well. Again, from Incompetech, there'll be links down there with accreditations and stuff like that for him down there. I'm going to select that file and I'm just going to make this a little bit more, um, I'm gonna make that look a little bit better. We're gonna update the track. Now we have this battle list here. So if we go back into our scene controls, we can still see that Saul's Vault in here and we have the Saul Vault playlist. It's not playing right now because we've been, we turned it off. Now, if we wanna go from that to battle, what we do is that let's say this is playing. It'll play that playlist and then let's say the battle starts, we'll click on our battle playlist and then stop this one. And then now it's gonna play the next song on that playlist. So that way the battle can be really intense. So we'll shut that off now. So that way we're good there. 
But that basically, ladies and gentlemen, is how you kind of bring sounds and audio into your games. You can create your own battle playlist. You can create your own playlist for specific maps. You can create ambiance playlists from whatever you need and whatever the case may be. Maybe you're in a tavern and you want to have some guys drinking in the background. You can find different songs like that and actually import them here on Foundry Virtual Tabletop. So you can really kind of enhance your experience here with your online tabletop game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is actually going to end this video on how to bring in that ambiance music and actually bring in those battle scenes and enhance them with music in your virtual tabletop space here on Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Now, if you have any questions, I'm sure you do, make sure you leave comments down there in the comment section. But also, again, that live stream is there for you guys. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Link for that Twitch stream down in the description below. We're going to answer your questions on Foundry. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, game mastering, dungeon mastering, player character stuff, but anything you guys need, I'm there for you guys to help you guys out in your specific situation in your tabletop role playing game. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because there'll be a lot more of these tutorials on Foundry Virtual Tabletop coming for the channel, but also there'll be more stuff about how to play tabletop games and role playing and all that kind of stuff here on the channel. Now, I hope you guys learned something. I'm, I know I did as I was making this video, and until next time, happy gaming. Thank you.